hello guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to South football extra if you're new here you know what to do subscribe and hit that notification bell now most of you might have seen the score line the ghana black princesses lost that game in the first game in the fifa under 20 women's world cup they lost 3-0 to usa i think if you watch that game you see that the black princesses they were lacking a lot of um, things in that particular game the usa team were clearly better than them if you see how they played technical positioning the goalkeeping you know the passes the intelligence they were all brilliant now i'm not saying that the black princesses they don't have others technical abilities and all that i think they were frightened like they were scared of the opponents that's why um they couldn't put out the best against usa in that game i was also surprised to see abdullah mukarama on the bench i was expecting her to start since she is one of the best players in the on the 20 team so i was surprised to see her start from the bench but i think that in the next game i'm hoping to see her start then evelyn badu as i said in the in the first video i posted earlier evelyn um, Badu was injured that's the um, women's the youngest uh, best player in women's football in africa right now she was injured an ankle injury and she couldn't feature in that game i think she's going to be a huge blow for ghana because she was you can see she was clearly missed in this particular game against the USA. So going forward, I think the black princesses should learn from this defeat and you know improve. First of all, I think um, the attack, like the space with the midfield and the attack, the space between them is too much. And I'm not sure if the black princess had any shots on target against the USA because the, um, I think her name is Taya, the Taya, the Taya lady from the right, she was shooting from long range when she had the opportunity to cross into the box and force Doris and the other striker to at least make attempts to go. So I think that should be looked at. Long range shots should be, you know, cut short and they should be passing and creating chances and eventually gets the goal. And I think the defense were not at their best uh, in this game against USA. You can see that Sharon, I don't know, I know it is, is, is what her first appearance in the under 20. Uh, women's World Cup. She had a terrible game and I think that was why she was subbed at halftime. The defense didn't do good in that particular game. The first goal was avoidable. They just stood still and the player, the Cooper, Michelle Cooper, I think that's her name, Michelle Cooper just had the opportunity and she had that free header and scored. Uh, they also had the opportunity to score through a counter-attack but the goalkeeper, I think the only positives for the Ghana Black Princess is the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper did very well today and she, you know, prevented some goals. She came out, so bravery in some instances. Sometimes she got it wrong, but I think if it wasn't for her, it would have been like five or six zero. So I think that is one of the positives. I think she can actually be imposed for the subsequent games in the tournament, but I think they should improve. If they improve, they can struggle and try to get out of the group but today they were not at their best the red card incident didn't help at all i think the red card incident actually weakened them and um, the formation changed only in the second half that mukarama and doris were put up front and the shape of the team changed and they tried to get something but still they couldn't break the usa team because they were so compact so disciplined so technical everyone has their own role to play and they played as a team and it's paid off. That's why they beat Ghana 3-0 in the first game of the FIFA Under 20 Women's World Cup. So I hope you did watch that game. If you didn't watch that game, um, please try and watch the subsequent games in the FIFA Under 20 Women's World Cup because we need uh, more people to be more interested and vested in women's football despite the results we are experiencing right now. So I posted a video on how you can watch the games. You can check on the FIFA website or you can check in the FIFA Plus app if you want to watch the next game. So I think that's all for today. If you haven't subscribed to that right now, and click that notification bell. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.